All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legend series. We're on episode number 41 today, and today we are Silent Panda. Thanks so much to Vivek Kana for that recommendation. Hope I said that right. But we're jumping into Grand Champion 2 Division 1 for the first time ever. We're in the third highest rank of the game, and I am i couldn't be more excited to finish this series, but at the same time, I'm not quite sure what we'll do after this series, but I'm quite excited to see the end of it. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next uh, for a series on the channel. I'm, I'm liking this whole thing where we do kind of custom content for two days. Uh, sometimes and then we do uh, a series uh, every you know second or third day um, if you guys do want to check out my twitch by the way I'm going to be start starting up twitch streaming again I took a bit of a break but I'm gonna be coming back to it uh, actually today I'll probably be live when this video came out so definitely check it out at twitch.tv slash let underscore rl but we we'll jump into the next games we're grand champion 2 division 1 like I said and we'll see where we end off at the end of the video but as always if you guys do want to subscribe and help out the road to 1 million subscribers and you haven't subscribed yet it helps out a ton and it's free so now let's jump into the game see how it goes Whew, my hands are freezing, but let's see how it goes. We got uh, Zarek. Zarek on my team. He's 16-34. And we got Max and Mezd. Or Mez. I have no idea. Bad kickoff, though. Should be alright as long as my teammate goes back. Good save. We'll go into the corner here. Good pressure from that guy, but stay with it. Pop over one. Should be my teammate, maybe. Decent shot. Take him in a little bit. Okay, he actually didn't touch the ball. That's okay, though. Zarek left a mid boost switch for me, which means he could probably make a challenge here. Should be alright. Wasn't sure if he would make it back, so. Nice play off the corner. Good corner touch. Make them panic a little bit. So I know that that guy's gonna go, so instead I make a touch around. That's alright if he makes that touch like that. I have a feeling this is, this Mezda guy is a bit of a uh, alt account. A good player on the corner, definitely an alt account. So it's gonna be a tough game here. I can see. See Max clear. Take a shot to the far side. Might bounce off the post. Close. Still we're both. Teammate's still pretty far though. He's, he's monitoring midfield. It's all right though. Or Mez. I'm just gonna call him Mez for now on. Yeah, this guy's definitely not, you know, 1100. <laughs> he's definitely a higher level player. Same with this guy. So a bit of bit of a. Bit of a smurf on smurf, I guess, if you can say that. Pop it over nice and high. Both of them go, and they pinched it into mid, so now we can make a shot towards target. A little bit too high, though. Be my teammate now. Nice play. Gotta pop it around. It's kind of awkward, because they uh, the pass out was pretty uh, dangerous to go for. Let him clear out mid. My teammate should be there. Nice. Nice play off the, the backboard. It's a good... A uh, good block, though. I'm going to bump this guy, so that way my teammate can get there. He didn't trust it, though, so he backed off. He has no boost. It's a good play, though. Uh, I should have been there a little bit faster. That was, that was a good backward play, though. thought my teammate might have been ready for that to cover it, and then I realized he wasn't, so I ended up... Uh, he kind of waited in the corner a little bit too long, and I thought he was going to you know, push off the backboard. And then I just got caught off guard. I need to uh, block that for him. He really should have been up the wall, though. He kind of just was protecting nothing. Um... It's all right though. We'll try to get a goal here. So hopefully, we can touch a touch for the demo. Good block or good demo. Bounce off the corner. Hopefully, the teammate can make a shot. Oh, so close. That was definitely our play. Okay, not a good play there. Could have been a goal for them too, because he just he needed to just barrel into the challenge right away, and it would have been it wouldn't safe. Should be all right. Just mezzed it back. I thought my teammate would go in for the the, the shot there. That's alright though. Backboard should be max touch. Zarek should have a clear here. The decent touch. Not the greatest. Almost. Could have made a shot there. It was a really tight angle though. Nah, that's not good. It's a little bit weird weird game here because the, the pressure is like decent from us, but we're just not getting shots on target. And there's a good shot. Nice little play off the side there. Uh, the guy passed it up middle. I just want to make sure I get a, a flick over underneath the right side of the ball. And that way I can pop it towards goal. Mezda's kind of waiting patiently. And there we can get a good shot. It's a good pass for my teammate. Mezda really needs to cover that and uh, block me or make a challenge if he doesn't want to get a, a shot like that on target. 
But so far, it's been like decent pressure from us, just like not finishing off the shots. And that's on both of us, like not not just him. He's gonna mess up his teammate. He can pop off the wall and probably get a shot towards target. And there we go. <laughs> My teammate almost messed me up and I got kind of scared, so. I'm glad we followed it up though. Mezda kind of messed up his teammate. And right here, I could follow it up. Oh, it's actually Max who's the one that's lower. I just realized. I was like, okay, wait, wait, wait a second. I was like, Mezda's playing pretty well. And then I realized he's actually the one that's 1600. Playing pretty well though. Oh yes, the classic five seconds left. Let's let's backflip on the kickoff. I like it. <laughs> should be alright. Teammate should be able to clear that. And there's the finish. Nice job. So it's a little bit a little bit close of a game. Uh, definitely had to like play a little bit a little bit uh, sweatier. But honestly, it was just a, a matter of you know making the shots. And with my hands being so cold, I feel like whenever my hands are cold like that, some people like their hands being cold when they play Rocket League. I have no idea why. I just feel like they're so stiff. So my turns are really really awful. But uh, they're feeling already pretty warm now. I'm sweating a little bit on my hands, but it's like that cold sweat, which is really awful. I hate when that happens. I don't know if you guys can like relate to that, but it's definitely definitely a weird feeling. And hopefully my room gets a little warmer. My window was open, so <laughs> I've closed all the doors and let the, the computers become two heaters for the room. Got Relapse and Steez and Cheesy Fresh on my team. Let's we'll see if this 50-50 goes well. It does. Get the mid boost. Right here, I can turn on this immediately. See the guy's challenging. Now what I'm going to do is boost down and try and make a, a force touch. It's fine that he touches that. I can collect it in the corner here. I'll wait for relapse. It's decent touch, but Steez has a free touch off that. Kind of threw it away though, so my teammate can now come up and push. Should be my teammate's ball. Early touch, a little bit panicky, but it's alright. Should be a cross. Relapse is up, but he doesn't make a great touch. I'm gonna be beat here. I already know that. Okay, he missed. So I should be able to just shoot this far far left side, and there's a free goal. So that situation, I knew that even though I couldn't see the opponent, I know that spacing-wise, he's going to be there before me. Ends up making a miss. And uh, Relapse wasn't too happy about that one. <laughs> As you can see. Relapse goes to the corner. He's going to get the boost. Okay, he instead goes for the touch. My teammate would be there instead. I don't need to go for that. My teammate's right underneath the ball. Not a great touch, though. He ends up flipping it past. Somehow covers a touch. Oh, I made a bad touch there because I, I wanted to. I wanted to pass that middle, but I don't know why I did that. I, I kind of messed up my my follow up. Guy's low boost. I'm just gonna force him to throw the ball. It's a good play close from the opponent. GZ should try to get to the close to the ball. Hop it forward. Silver Steez. I'm gonna panic touch on the middle. Pop it across. Could have went towards target there. Just missed a little bit. Hands are warming up a little bit more though, so I feel feel better about my turns. Decent play from Steez. I gotta, I gotta stall a lot of time here. So I'm gonna make sure I try to catch on the wall here. And then stay in front. That way I can stall the time for my teammate to get back and for him to just panic. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's fine. I could have waited a little bit longer there to even bait in Steez. He missed. So my teammate can get a free touch. Once again, just let's go with the ball. Like, he's getting, he's getting, like, the right positioning, but then he's making the wrong mechanical touches. Good play. Relapse will probably pop it around. Kind of pass it to me, so I'll make a shot towards target. And there we go. So, like, my teammate is doing the right thing position-wise, but just, like, the touches he's making, he's letting go of the ball every time, and they're able to get, like, additional pressure. But we're not we're not dealing with it too badly. We got two goals, and we're already halfway through the game, pretty much. But definitely a big thing is, like, you know, be in the right position, but then also make the right touches. And that's, like, a combination of things. Like, right here, I know that um, I've got the ball. So I'm gonna make a shot towards target. He ended up backflipping because he was avoiding my teammate's demo. That was a good play there. Bad touch from from uh, from Steez, and my teammate says I'm I'm his dad. Son. <laughs> well played. It was a good game. Nice and quick though. Uh, and I guess they're not happy with themselves there. Grand champion two still division two though. Division up. Hopefully we can get to like. You know, Division 3 by the end of this episode. Probably not Division 4. I know it's super, super far. Um, but at the same time, we're already past the 50 mark. I have no idea what would happen in the last episode. If you did watch the last episode, we were way above the 15 mark to get the rank up for some reason. I have no idea. I don't know if the ranks have changed or whatever, but uh, we're already quite high up into the 1600s, which is great. So we should be pretty close to the end of this series. I still think we're going to be sub-50, like, episode-wise. That is unless we lose a bunch. We got the third game of the episode. We got quite high level players. We got Hoobling on my team, 1783, who's also a season two tournament winner. So this is going to be a solid game. Got good players. He ended up passing it to my teammate with a great shot to the far side. There we go. Nice early start. 
So right there, that was a bad touch from uh, Diggory, and he was still going for the back corner boost on that touch, and he just gave it to Hoodwink to... <laughs> I do agree with this statement, though. I mean, we've got two 1700s uh, opposite teams. I hate when this happens, but at the same time, these 1700s probably don't have very many players to play with, so... So pop off the backboard. Pass it back. Oh, Hoodwink wasn't there. It's was kind of a bad play. We should be back for the clear. It's good. I'm gonna watch middle. End up missing. That's fine. At the same time, Diggory was the one that passed that ball middle. So, like, he's the 1700. I'm just gonna wait for the play across. Get a nice 50 50. Get this back corner boost from him. So now he's gonna be low. Good patience from Hoodwink. Should be alright. Pop off the corner. Diggory has a, has a play on the ball, but he ends up missing. It's good. Pop around one. Should be Jamaican's touch. I'm just going to back off behind. Good play from Hoodwink to get the, the cancel. Going for a flip reset, maybe? Last second touch. Shot towards target, and, and both of them committed to the corner. So right there, because I know that both of them committed in the corner, the goal is pretty open. So all I'm going to do is just make a touch off the sidewall and wait for the ball to, to basically settle into the left side of my... uh oh, the left position of my car. And that way, when I hit, hit forward on the flip reset... Or the flip reset... That, that way, when I hit four on the flip, it just goes towards the direction. So I'm kind of just, like, playing the patient game. I'm just waiting. Up over the one here. Jamaican's kind of waiting in midfield. Kind of ramping it up a little bit. Okay, my teammate didn't notice that I was trying to go back for boost there. Um, he had probably had, like, 30 to 40. But in that situation, um, I could have just, uh, you know, maybe went around for pads or something. If my teammate's not going to back off. Make it clear. We can get some pressure relieved, and that way my teammate can go get the mid boost and pick up some pads. Make a shot towards target. Make some clear. I'm gonna pinch around the one player, and that way I can follow it. Make a shot to the far side, and there we go. So in that situation, that little pinch popped the ball up in a nice spot for me to follow it around Jamaican, and then I can follow it here to get another play. <laughs> yeah, matchmaking de matchmaking definitely does suck. I'm not gonna lie. It always has. Uh, it's hard to avoid though. Because numbers mean nothing. His teammate just jabbed at him for, for being 1600. But honestly, numbers mean nothing. Like, we've had players who are in the same rank as someone else. I like right here, Diggory could have made a shot there. But he just didn't. Even though it was a decent pass. I heard my teammate go up, so I wanted to wait there. Good clear to the side. Show me my teammate's ball. Good save. I was going to make fun of him if he missed that ball as a 1700, you know what I mean? Should be Hoodwink could be uh, waiting for that ball to the back corner. Good position to put the ball in because he could follow it. It's a decent 50 50. If he placed that a little bit further back, he wouldn't have had to 50 50 it. I grab this boost so that way they don't grab it. Diggory's going to make a shot. Should be clear for my teammate. I'm not going to go up because my teammate's right there. Good save, and there we go. I know he's probably going to be challenging from the side. I was surprised the other guy wasn't challenging, but Hoodwink's going to make a touch. It's a little awkward here. Could be a shot. I'll pop it around just in case. Diggory's mad. Up round one. Get the boost. I don't know, man. Diggory's not really doing much. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a good shot. Oh, he missed. Up over one. Diggory missed. <laughs> I don't know. Jamaican. Exactly. I don't understand why people do that. Like he's playing bad, but then he's like ripping into the uh, his teammate. Now the other 1,600 is talking. Ha 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 ha. It's Lethema. So I DK man. You look pretty silly. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Tomorrow's episode. Well, for you guys, it's right now. Oh god, he doesn't believe it. He doesn't actually believe it. That's so funny. Oh, good save from Jamaican. Honestly, he's playing really, really well. Good save. Once again, look at Jamaican. He's just making good plays. And Diggory throws the ball away. 
Oh, his teammate missed, but that's okay though. Okay, I'll turn really quick. It goes 50 50. He's gonna go immediately, which is fine. My teammate should be back by that time. Good play, never mind. So he was, he was really far, far committed. But I just find it so funny that, like, Jamaican's the one that's, like, playing really solid. He's got seven saves, too. Holding the defense. Some fake Jamaican here. Oh, oh, oh. What is Rocket League, man? Oh, it's just so funny. Well, well, well played. That was a that was a funny funny game there. Um, good sport from Jamaican. I mean, even though he, you know he was saying you know that he, the other guy was playing bad, I, I I think he was totally justified. Like I don't think Diggory like he made the first mistake at the very beginning of the game was probably tilted from that. And uh, honestly, <laughs> I have no words. That was a weird game. Hey, it's Jamaican. <laughs> Let's go! We got we got our we got our buddy back. Yo, Spy and J Malemu. Probably messed that up. That's okay though. I grab this mid boost from the opponent by jumping. As I've talked about in the earlier episodes, if you jump uh, over someone trying to grab the the boost, you actually tend to get the ball first or the boost first. Oh, good save. Good play. Try to get the 50, but it didn't work out. Should we get behind my teammate now? Good play in the corner. Yeah, Jamaican's playing really well. He's playing really good possession. It's a decent bump from the uh, the opponents. Let him get boost. Let's make a play out. That's fine. Threw the ball away. It's fine that my teammate made a touch. Because I'll be, ba be, be back down on the floor for 17 boost. And his back corner boost will be here too. I'm going to be their touch. As I see that. Should be okay. Behind my teammate. Kind of threw the ball away, but... It should be all right. Go early for this. Pop it over one player. Now Jamaican's ready for it. Good shot towards target. Good save, though. I got a 1v1 one, one one play. So I'm going to make a flick high up off the backboard. He's not ready for it. Maybe Jamaican can make a, sh make a shot. And there we go. Nice play. Really good positioning to wait for that. I made a good flick off the backboard. In that situation, Spy can't really react in time. And I think it was Jay's like position to honestly probably make a clear off that. And like I talked about before, in those situations where you're trying to make a, a clear off the backboard, play it as if you're the shooter, but just miss <laughs> and miss it well so it's like in a good spot good positioning for my teammate to stay with that and stay relevant I see that my the opponent is trying to make it clear so i just try to wait for his touch around and then that way i i'm, I'm in a patient position to make sure i can cover every every option spy here might make a shot towards target gotta be a little bit careful oh almost the uh, own goal there that worked out though Fly's getting the boost still so i can jump up after the touch Put it towards target. They can make a good save. Uh-oh. Game just froze. Oh, gosh. Ah! The, I don't know what just happened. That that, that The uh, the achievement kind of uh, <laughs> froze the game. I have no idea what's going on. Pop it over one. Spy's in an awkward position. I just lost my audio. Too. What is going on? Right here, I'm just going to stay relevant with 80 boost. Make sure I don't leave the play too early. Hits off the corner so it rolls out middle. And then I make a shot. And that in that, situa in that situation, hitting that off the corner... Um, instead of off the backboard, feeds the ball closer to the midfield for me to make a shot. And it's that little, like, awkward little part of the curve that's really hard to read for the, uh, the defense when it hits that little spot between, uh, the 45 degree angle wall and the, uh, flat wall. Um, those two walls are really hard to, uh, read when they're in the little junction. Right here, it's a little bit dangerous for me to go for boost, but he ended up making a, uh, heavy touch. Heavier than he probably wanted. Didn't mean to get in the way of that. I meant to boost around him. But a good flip towards the net, and here I get a free touch. It's kind of an awkward touch. I didn't expect him to make the touch. I thought he was just leaving, but he didn't know how close I was. It's a good 50 50, though. Should, should, should stay with it here. I don't avoid the demos and bumps. Pop over one. Couldn't really go faster on the ball or anything because I was in a position uh, where I was too close to the ball to make a touch. So I just sit behind it instead. Stay behind it. Get it around the one player. That way my teammate can collect the ball on the other side does what a flip oh my god you probably don't expect me to go right away so i'm just gonna go immediately and my teammate might be able to turn around it's a decent clear from the opponents there we go nice little play there to finish it off we got jamaican on our team and he played really solid uh degree <laughs> if you're watching this episode which you probably are because you said there's no way i'm sure um you know it's all good man you have bad days 
but there's no, re no reason to trash talk your teammate who's carrying you, especially when you're throwing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun. This is episode number 41. Like I said, I have an entire playlist of all the episodes. If you want to watch back, if you want to see a rank that you're at, uh, if you're new to the series, uh, if you're following along, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far and make sure to subscribe to help the road to 1 million subscribers. And until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.